ultimately at the end of the day when you're going to bed and the last moments that you're going to fall asleep and you have your sweetheart in your arms or you have your baby next to you at the very end you take yourself to bed by yourself at the very end in the last moments when you're about to fall asleep you take yourself to sleep and when you wake up in the morning the first thing is you always wake up by yourself that's the first thing so there is no escape from yourself you have to face yourself you can't escape from it rosalie hold on a second let me finish this up so why do we have to go through this throughout our lives why do we have to go to this sense of loneliness for most of our lives majority of human beings on the planet they go through it and a big number of older people especially in the western world they end up being lonely those older people who are fortunate maybe they have their partner or their kids around them but now in the modern world most older people they end up being lonely so what do we do about this how do we turn this around what can i do that i don't have to suffer from this sense of loneliness the main reason for that is simply is because when i'm not elevated to the level of my heart opens up to the point that i connect with the source the source of i am when i'm not in that place that means i'm very busy in my mind very much engaged in my thought process and this engagement in my thought process keeps me in isolation keeps me in this state of fear and separation and until i recognize this i realize that through whatever methods and i begin to do the shift by shifting from the head into the heart and entering into the world of the heart and as i come to the world of the thought heart means my mind becomes quiet and my heart starts to open up and i begin to feel now in the beginning as you're coming to this place you may you you are expanding and you're feeling a lot of different things you may be hearing other people's thoughts you may be very sensitive to noise uh, and a lot of people get stuck in this level in this process that the heart starts to opening up and they're becoming very very sensitive and they go in more of an isolation because they become very uncomfortable being around other people but you have to understand that this section is a part of the process as sometimes you have to go to an isolation for the heart to completely open up but ultimately you cannot just hide out all of your life from life and and not connect because you become sensitive as you're diving into your heart and the heart begin to open and expand in in the beginning in this expansion that is happening i understand that that you need to protect it and naturally you don't want to be around other people and the noise loud noise loud restaurants traffic maybe big cities and things like that may be bothering you because you are getting used to being silent and you're diving into the heart but you must understand that coming to the heart as you dive into this place you begin to feel connected to everything when the connection is completed the arrival you have arrived at the heart space 
then you tap into the one heart, one collective heart. And you begin to feel connected with everything because now you're connected to yourself. And in that connection with everything, this sense of loneliness begin, begins to disappear. It begins to go away because you begin to feel the presence. You begin to feel the field, the subatomic field of energy which is available and is around you. The invisible pathways, the invisible blanket that through connecting to this, you're connected to everything. And as this connection begins to happen, because the mind has become quiet, a low voltage of bliss, of a feeling of love, it starts to happen. Continuously, you begin to feel the presence, the divine presence. You may not like the word divine presence, what we'll call it the feeling of bless, the feeling of love. But this love that I'm referring to is not an emotional love. Emotional loves are different. There are waves that they come and they're, they could be overwhelming or it could be minutes or hours of just extreme happiness or love and they come and go. This one that I'm referring to, it's constant. It will be in your life all the time. Its vibrations are not like this. Its vibrations are like this, but you will be continuously feeling it. You will continuously feel the presence of Her Majesty surrounding you. And through that, the realization comes that you are never lonely. That sense of loneliness begin to disappear. And it may come and go as a thought. It may just travel as a thought, but you no longer buy it because you're continuously connected to this field of oneness, to the field of love. And it must be an experiential state. This has to be something that you experience all the time, not something that comes and goes. If it comes and goes, then it's simply an emotion. It must become permanent. Now, you are in this place, and you've reached this, and you're experiencing it permanently. Yet, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get angry. It doesn't mean that you will not experience impatience. You don't get, you don't get the experience of sadness. No, those emotions, they come and go. And they're welcome to come and go. The work is not about becoming emotionless. The work is about switching our identification from an imaginary person that you think you are to the real you. The one you think you are is not real. It's only a thought. You have to divert your attention from that one because the one you think you are gets hurt easily, is needy, gets angry, gets impatient, is judgmental, it's lonely, it's got ups and downs all the time. You have to take your attention away from it. You gotta bring your attention to the source. 